So I found my brother's old Commodore 64. Has been in storage for like 25 years, sitting in my mom's garage. I brought it home and let's see if it's gonna turn on. If I can just turn. Uh, let's save that for later. Let's start the cleaning process. Take that sticker off. Bottom screws. There's only three. Flip it over. It should open up like a hinge. Alright. Disconnect the wires for the keyboard. Disconnect the LED wire. Let's unscrew the, uh, the board. Eh, it's not so bad. A little bit of stains on the bottom. Now let's take off the uh, keyboard assembly. Should be a couple screws and it should just pop right out. Whoa, pretty yellow keys. Alright, let's start working on the top cover now. See what we can do with that, uh, that badge there. If we just pry it out. It's actually glued on there pretty good, so let's use some heat. We should be able to just, uh, you know, release the glue after all these years. Let's see if that will work. Let's get the knife right underneath there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it came right off. Thumbs up, that's right. I'm just using, using some regular uh, glass cleaner. Gonna use a screwdriver right in there so it gets between the, uh, the vents. And of course that whole line all around the keyboard. Clean right in there. It was dirty. Lots of scrubbing. Yeah, that was my cat, Peanut. Let's use some Goo Gone. Just a cap full, pour it on, let it just kind of soak in. Kind of massage it into the, the plastic. Usually it's supposed to, you know, work in about 10 to 15 minutes, but I couldn't wait. So I had another layer, another coating, nice and thick. It helped a little bit. Let's see if we can get some more off this disgusting grime there. Then a cap full of goo gone. It's good stuff. It smells like lime. Yeah, fourth, fourth application of goo gone. Because there used to be a sticker there. Alright, it's not looking too bad. Now we're going to give it a bath in some hydrogen peroxide. Put some... We use like the whole bottle in there. Yeah, it's almost 50 degrees Celsius. It's not bad. Let that soak up in the sun for a little bit. Now let's go work on the uh, keycaps. Got to take them all off. I bought this uh, keycap puller on Amazon, I think for under 8 bucks. All right, let's not sneeze here and uh, hit the, the container full of springs there. Man, there's a lot of keycaps on here to pull off. With a little bit of force, they all came right off, no problem. Nothing broke, which is also a good thing. She is dirty underneath, wow. Gonna have to... Do a big clean up on this keyboard. Whew. Couple more keys to go. Container full of keycaps and a container full of springs. Space bar is a bit just a you know a little leverage with a tiny screwdriver. Now we're gonna use a small shop vac. To clean all the de little debris. Yeah, it's looking a lot better. Ah, good old Windex. Starting to get shiny. Don't forget, we're talking like almost 40 years of dust and dirt. Yeah, we're gonna use some goo gone to clean every individual keycaps. Did 
they were dirty and very 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 yellow yep clean all sides well I didn't clean the bottom but clean the sides you see top sides and all that that reminds me we need to get some better paper towels these white ones are just crap gotta get the blue shop towels you can pick those up at your local Home Depot a lot better than these little crappy little paper towels and we're done for the keycaps that's just the first part of cleaning all right let's add some bolts for some weight because this cover actually was floating and it was exposed see it looked too bad back in the bath just let it soak up some more uh, sun rays there yeah. eh, we're at plus 45 degrees Celsius it's not bad eh, it's looking a lot better just not eh, might have to do something else for that not a couple hours again now for the keycaps I put those in a bag for some for some hydrogen peroxide uh, out of the bath again. Uh, it's still not the greatest. Back in the bath. Let the bubbles do all the work. All right, now we're back to the bottom half. Just gonna clean some pieces here and there and check inside, see if there's no uh, bird's nest. <laughs> for ti those tiny birds. Let's vacuum, uh, you know, clean all that up. I don't see anything broken, so we're not, I'm not too worried about the uh, the board. She looks fairly clean for being, you know, sitting in my mom's garage for 25 years. Yeah, snap that back on. Yeah, everything looks good. All right, back to the keycaps. Let's see how well they turn out being in a bag with hydrogen peroxide for six hours. Let's make a, let's make a pile here. Well, they're not looking too bad. They're looking a lot better than they did uh, the day before. All right, now we got some uh, some piles going here. One is still very yellow, one is not so bad. I have a feeling we're going to have to uh, retro bright these in a different manner, different method. Back to the base there. That's just before it has a hydrogen peroxide bath. Notice how it's very brown. All the feet are missing. That one foot is just worn right down like somebody took a grinder to it must have been sitting on somebody's lap for a long long time at least we gotta clean the bottom a little bit the inside yeah use a screwdriver to scrape the uh, the hard spots I'm not sure what it was but still cleaned out a lot better than what it what it looked like before This took a lot of work. Let's add some bolts for some weight because it's going to be having a hydrogen peroxide bath. There you go, yep. Okay, back to the keycaps. How did these, how did these ones turn out? Let's use the control as a control. Uh, still, mm, still didn't turn out alright. They're, they're, they're a lot better, but. Uh, let's try this method, pizza box style. Use some uh, some duct tape. Just kind of roll it around so it's stuck on both sides, and we're just gonna use the uh, hydrogen peroxide paste and just kind of paste it on thick. And we'll check it every 15, 20 minutes and add an outer layer. All right, let's go cook this outside. All right, lots of sun. Check out the bath here. It's looking pretty good. 
More hydrogen peroxide. Why not? All right, let's give it the greenhouse effect with good old shrink wrap. Make sure nice and tight so no air gets out. Let the chemical reaction begin. All right, now we're gonna use hydrogen peroxide paste. We're just gonna paint it on the case there because I wasn't too satisfied with how it looked like before. And after we're done that, we're gonna put it back in the sun for about, eh, it was four hours, I think we did. There you go, back in the sun. Do your job there, hydrogen peroxide. I usually spin it around every, you know, half hour. There you go. All right, let's check on those keycaps. After we give them a nice rinse. Wow, what a difference. So much nicer. I'm satisfied with this method. The pizza box method. Look at that. Beautiful. What a difference. Yeah, we're still missing that, that pound key. The old style pound key. All right, let's snap that space bar back into place. Okay, then we gotta flip it around. There you go. Now let's start assembling all the rest of the keycaps. It's a lot of work to put this uh, keyboard back together. Don't want to lose a spring. We already lost one before we even started. All right. That's not bad for now. Yeah, I know, we're still missing one uh, keycap. Ooh, look at that case, how it turned out. After four hours out in the sun. All right, let's start reassembly now. Use the old trusty uh, screwdriver. All right, make sure you got all the screws there. It's going together pretty nice. All right, let's take the tape off. Yeah, ready for the uh, the keyboard. Let's put some screwdrivers underneath for some support. Screws in. Trusty screwdriver again. Not too bad. Case turned out uh, pretty nice. I know that one keycap is still missing. All right, let's close this up. Put the wires in first. The LED. Gonna need some feet pads. I picked those up at the local Home Depot. No, it's still missing the uh, the badge, the Commodore 64 badge. I just fixed that real quick with some hot glue. First time. Let's try a second time. There you go. Beautiful. What a difference. Not too bad, not too bad. First time doing some retro bright. Oh, and this came in. Let's check the mail. Ooh, I wonder what it is. Hmm, it's from eBay, I know that. Ugh, just can't open this thing. <sighs> Let somebody else do it. Apparently, I don't know how. But would you look at that. Some spare keycaps, some springs, and there is the keycap we were missing. I couldn't find a white one, so I ended up going with a, I guess you could say it's a brown one. So let's install that in there. First, we've got to take the keyboard apart. Just take the board off a little bit. 
didn't have to desolder the uh, shift lock keys. That's the new uh, plunger compared to the old one that was broken. We'll just drop that into place. Right in there. Close her up. Look at that. Then we'll put the screws back in. There's a lot of screws. I didn't count them. I didn't want to. I just put them in. Voila. Put the spring into place. Put the keycap. There you go. Let's connect the uh, LED, the keyboard. Alright, let's close her up. Well, before we close her up, we gotta screw in the keyboard. Yeah, I can't forget that. Okay, now you can close her up. Put the bottom three screws in. There you go. Nice. You know what? I'm okay with that key. It's there. It works. What a difference. Yes. You old William Shatner rub there. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Oh my god, it works! Let's load up a program. I'm running with the, uh, the SD card reader. Let's see what game we're going to be playing today. Let's go with uh, Moon Patrol. Love this game, even as a kid. I'm good at this game. Well, sometimes I'm good at this game. Yes, that's the jump button when you hit the joystick. There you go. Good job. Now, can you get to over to... Okay, there you go. Good job. Jumped over. Well, I'd say this Commodore is 100% uh, redone. Alright. There's the before. And that's the after. Wow. Back to before. <laughs> and the after. Thanks for watching.